Hey, thank y'all so much for joining another Bryce Is Right. We want to thank y'all so much for the support, for subscribing, for liking the videos. We're up to 4K subscribers. Hey, thank y'all. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank y'all for sticking with me, even though not every video is going to be the best. We all have our ups and downs, but it's those that are going to stick, stick with you through the thick and thin. So, let's go ahead and hop right in, y'all. Let's get it. Well, what was that, y'all? Let us know in the comments what y'all think. A known creature photographed on the porch of a home in suburban Chicago. The dog man? It almost looked like an owl at first. Either way, as creepy as can be. Oof. Let us know what y'all think that is, though, or if y'all do know. Among the things I found, there was an Excel spreadsheet entitled Non-Terrestrial Officers, which I took to be a space-going fleet made of human personnel, not aliens. It did list their names that I couldn't find on the internet at the time. There was also a list of ships, and I googled the ship names, so there were no matches. So I knew there weren't ocean-going vessels. My more recent conclusion is that some of the trillions of dollars of money have been used to take the technology we have discovered and build gravity control devices that we would see sometimes as UFOs. So, if you look in the sky now, in my opinion, it's 50-50 chance that it's ours wow. versus theirs. This is a real picture taken deep under the sea. A skeleton is tightly tied to the iron frame with wire ropes. What's the matter? This snorkeling enthusiast went diving in a sea area in Minnesota. What he discovered next frightened him. There is a stone standing on the bottom of the sea. Written on it are names and years limit. Interested friends can check this name. Next to the stone lies a lobster with a mask. An engine-like machine and a speedboat were also found nearby. There is a lot of sediment deposited on it. The glass windows on both sides of the speedboat have all been shattered. There is no clutter in the cockpit. It looks like it has been carefully cleaned. Another platform... I don't care what anybody says. Seeing that skeleton with the wire around its neck underwater, that's going to build some nightmares for some of y'all. Oof. form was found next to the speedboat. There is a lawn mower neatly placed on it. The appearance of this object is difficult for me to understand. But later, I checked the character stories. But it seems reasonable, not far from the platform. He found another pile of debris. The sediment here is heavier. The original appearance has been covered. This should be a machine like a snowmobile. This is a weird-shaped skeleton tied to an iron frame with steel wires. It's like having two wires wrapped around a transformer. The skeleton's hands are bound. His teeth were biting the tape that bound him. On the bow of a wooden boat stands a skeleton holding a flagpole. He's dressed like a pirate, wearing an eye patch on his left eye, as if directing the ship to move forward. A skeleton riding a bicycle dragged a luggage trolley behind him. I mean, that would be pretty intricate for somebody to go down there and set up like it's a, some kind of scene or like a float for the parade. I mean, it would take some time for divers to go down down there and do that. Ah, uh, what do y'all think about this? Let me know down in the comments. I'll let, we'll get back to the video. But the luggage has disappeared, lying in the middle of the boat. His hands were raised above his head, like randomly placed items. But who would place these on the bottom of the sea? What is going on here? Leave your thoughts in the comment area. Yeah, like DJ Khaled late. <laughs> Whoa, did y'all see that? Her eyes done change colors. That's gotta be CGI, y'all think? That's cool though, she has some pretty eyes. Ooh, look behind that tree to the right. Oh no, it looked like a straight skeleton. Oh, it looked like Uncle Fester. 
No, I don't expect to see buildings tilting away from me because I understand beyond a reasonable doubt that Earth is indeed flat. But hypothetically speaking, if Earth were indeed a globe, I'd imagine we should be able to at least measure how much a building is tilting away from us, wouldn't you say? I mean, even if we couldn't see this supposed tilt with the naked eye, we should be able to measure it by measuring the distance between two buildings from top to bottom, right? And let's say these two buildings are 3,000 kilometers apart. That's 1,800 miles. Now be a sport and tell me how many degrees over a distance of 1,800 miles. Then post some evidence showing me that structures do indeed tilt the further you get away from them. Measurements were done of the bases and tops of two buildings, one in Torres, Rio Grande do Sul, and another in Natal, Rio Grande do Norte, 3,050 kilometers apart from each other. According to the theory of the spherical Earth, the distance of the measurements of the bases must be different than the measurements of the top, even in a few meters. But if the measurements are equal, this would show that the Earth has no curvature. Remembering the opinion of the INCRA engineers before the experiment, probably that will be in relation to the extension of this line. Perpendicular to the baseline. I believe it will be longer. Some thinking of the Earth as a globe, the initial expectation was that the measurements were different. But when the results arrived, the base and the top measurements were the same, showing that the two buildings are leveled upright. Yet you won't. And here the opening angles, where we read the point here, the base of the building and its height. As we do this calculation here, on this plane, we will always find this distance here. On this plane, we will always find this distance here. The identical measurements of the distance between the bases and the tops prove that between the two buildings there is no curvature, proving that the Earth has no spherical shape. Whoa. That's a good question, though. I mean, you would think that there would be some kind of tilt to it, but... Hmm? Interesting little hypothesis. Or, I guess, theory. <laughs> Alexa, See, it, it almost looks like a helicopter, maybe a shark. On Earth? According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the world population today is approximately 7.91 billion. Alexa, what's the human population on Mars? Here's something I found on the web. According to worldanvil.com, today, Mars is the second largest habitable planet with a population of nearly 1.5 billion what? people. Alexa, Come again. what's the human population on the moon? <clears throat> something I found on the web. According to fandom.com, currently the moon houses approximately 126 million humans and is a major exports are silver, titanium, H3, plants, and oxygen. What? What in the fuck? Nah. That's gotta be freaking fake. Oh, look at that meteorite. Or meteor. Dang. It almost looks like it's slowing down, though. Huh. It almost kind of looks like it's coming back towards us. <clears throat> Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Superman done caught it and said, I'm saving the day. <laughs> it's gone. You done chunked it out. No, no, there it is. 
kind of. I was more worried about what was in the sky. It looked like a ship. Y'all think it's just the angle? Cause he don't look that tall. Thought I had a mind of its own. Oh. I don't even want to watch this one, y'all. Y'all can watch it on y'all's own. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's still. Oof. Don't let there be something that jumps out. I don't know if y'all have ever done this before. I have I had that one friend that was so brave. Hello? So creepy. Oh, oh, hell no. Oof. I hate getting goosebumps. Mm. Stay out of those tunnels, y'all. What the fuck was that? On them day walkers. I'm John Shelley. That is a big animal. That's a big sign. with that thing. Oh, ooh, he said, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> hey, you gotta have a funny clip in there from time to time, y'all. Lighten the mood up. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, it looks like a big hand or something. Holy oh. <gasps> oh my goodness. I didn't see that the first time I, I watched part of this clip. I'm gonna have to watch that one again. So this happened in a suicide silent mosh pit at Mayhem Fest. This kid seems to be knocked down I multiple times by some unseen force. Just watch. Hey, yeah. whoa, what? Uh, I thought he was getting pushed uh, down. Yeah. Uh, Look like he getting clothesline. 
I went ahead and slowed it down here so you can see it better. Like his hair flaws back and everything. It looks like somebody just punches him. Oh. In the face. Looks like his glasses flew off his face. So what do you think's happening? Oh, he doesn't wear glasses. Because twice it looks like this guy is flung back. Hmm. Hard off something. What do you think it is? Let me know what y'all think if that's real or not. It's. I'm sorry. They just found what under the ice. Yeah, this is mad. Absolutely insane. So Antarctica, of course, we all know, it's obviously some pretty weird stuff going on over there. I mean, a lot of it is basically unexplored. I mean, it is literally just ice, basically. Some scientists traveled over there and did something absolutely insane, and you will seriously not believe what they found. Genuinely. In this place, there is obviously a lot of ocean and sea, so, I mean, there's bound to be a lot of species that we've never heard about or ever, ever see. We could probably never even imagine half the stuff that's there. The scientists went to this area and had this tiny little camera which they were basically going to stick right under the ice. But first of all, they dug an extremely deep hole into the ice, and then they put this little camera down it. Now, this camera is literally 5 millimeters big, so I mean, you're not really going to see much on that. But it went all the way down to nearly 3,000 meters. That's bloody miles under the ground, Jesus. Now, this is what it captured down there. It almost looked like a whole ecosystem hmm. and a whole other species they said they'd never seen, but it gets even crazier. Deadly mushrooms. Because this is what they then pulled up. What is that? Yeah. They said they've never seen anything like it before and are doing tests on it, so hit that follow button like you update. It's translucent, man. It's in the dark. I don't know. Never seen Continuing deeper, they encountered structures with a logic somewhat similar to human design. Like tunnels with stairs leading to pits of immeasurable depth. And that would lead to the greatest mystery of the exploration. Hey, y'all let me know, these pictures and clips aren't from a movie or anything, is it? Just let me know down in the comments. I appreciate it. We'll get back to it. Metal doors with seemingly organic seals from which small samples were taken. These proved impossible to open, although no attempt was made by force to avoid any risk. However, a passage was found without such limitations. Inside were objects that, with great terror, resembled the egg found in the excavations in Iraq. In what? fact, they were so similar that judging by the images, they could have been the same. This couldn't be verified as the exploration team didn't take samples of these. Hey, finally some smart scientists. They said, uh-uh, we've seen too many rabies. say that there's two suns, but we find out that a planet is starting to be more visible. That's a good one. Oh, another good, another scene from Grand Theft Auto in real life. A hey, R.I.P. Man, check this out. I'm over here at the beach and one of these rats just swam out huh. the ocean. Look at this. I'm gonna take that trip to New York. Oh, that must be one of those New York rats. <laughs> I've heard these stories, but um, Joey Diaz goes right. It's a humongous rat. Wait, what? Oh no! What you got? You got five dollars? You got Lucy? sleep on the subway so um you know i hope everyone will get your new book you talk about parallel words worlds black holes wormholes time travel all these questions people have one thing um that a lot of people are talking about lately and nasa even now has a head of you of ufos right congress has a hearing uh on on ufos 
And so people were talking about UFOs and aliens in, in a more serious way than, than, you know, being on the front of the National Enquirer, the way it used to be. Um, so a Mexican journalist displayed bodies of two supposed non-human beings uh, in, the, in, Mexi in front of the Congress in Mexico, okay? Okay, so I'm starting to really believe what y'all say about Neil deGrasse Tyson. He was working for the media or, you know, he's there to really give us this information because we all trust and believe him. But, yeah, let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I appreciate it. I had to put this in here. I haven't seen it yet, but since we had this clip a couple videos ago, really twice, we're going to see what they got to say. I'll be quiet for the rest of the video, y'all. Thank you. Um, each with three-fingered hands and elongated heads. Now, uh, before we all mock uh, the video, right, because <laughs> it's gotten a lot of mocking. It looks a lot like E.T., but as I said, NASA just announced for the first time a director of research on UFOs. So they are taking uh, this overall topic more seriously. What's your take on this? Well, first of all, I like what they did in Mexico. They, they had what they claimed are alien bodies. And they brought it out in front of their Congress. That's better than leaving them in a locked box and saying you and no one else can get to see them. So that's a start. But in science, a, 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 a new truth, an objective truth is only established when multiple labs can analyze whatever your claim is. When we brought rocks back from the moon, we distributed them to all the labs of the world. So everybody participated in that discovery. So here, bring out samples to others and let other people, skeptical people, in other labs test and this. So either verify it or falsify it and then we move on. What was your reaction when you saw the images? I was surprised because if they're from another planet, why do they look so human? They have two eyes. Eyes, a nose, a mouth, shoulders, hips, femur, a, a rib. Why? Most life on Earth shares DNA in common with us. It looks nothing like us. So how could it somebody... So, so that was my first thought. Second, um, any corpses or mummified remains, there is no bone in your nose. It's an open hole into your skull. These aliens have intact noses, okay? If indeed that is their nose, okay? I don't think for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, so I, that's odd after 2,000 years to still have a, a nose with two, with two cavities in it. So that's odd, but they should share it. That's how, right. we, that's how we determine what is true and what is not. All right. Hey, thank y'all so much for joining another Bryce is Right. Thank y'all once again for helping me hit the 4K subscribers. It's still climbing. So those of y'all who haven't subscribed, that's only 16% of the subscribers. So don't forget to hit that button for me, y'all. Let's get it going. Smash that like button. Keep the algorithm jumping up. And other than that, y'all have a great weekend. Oh, yeah, and comment a little bit. Let's keep connecting. I appreciate talking to some of y'all, really all y'all. And uh, let's just keep it positive. But like I said, y'all have a great weekend. Y'all be safe. And uh, peace.